Hey guys, this is KD and welcome to Get Tutorialized. Now I'm starting with a comprehensive Eagle tutorial series on how to design professional PCBs, especially DFM, which stands for Design for Manufacturing. So no problem if you are a total rookie or a beginner when it comes to PCB designing. You just need some basic knowledge of electronics to get started with this series. So to begin with, uh, I'll be showing you how to design some easy uh, Arduino boards which are single layer PCB with the DIP package of your Arduino which is that Mega328. Moving on, we'll be moving to some complex RF circuits like a SIM module which are multi-layer and also SMB. But in this video, we'll just start with the installation of Eagle CAD. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go to Google and type in Autodesk Eagle Download. Here we go. We visit the first link, and there we have download free version of Eagle. Now, the free version of Eagle includes only two schematic sheets, two signal layers, and 80 centimeter square of board area, and is available for all the three major platforms. But students can get free software for three years so this is like the full version of eagle for that you need to create an account well i've already cre created an account so i'll just go ahead and sign in so i'll just put in my student id and i'll sign in i'll put in my password there we go we have signed in you can come down over here since we are on windows just click on download eagle for windows and it will ask you where to store i'll just go to downloads and i'll just save it let it download so i'll open my downloads tab there we go finish downloading now the latest version is eagle 8.3.1 this may be a different version when you are trying to download because this video you may be watching this video you know sometime later so i'll just click on the exe file and it will ask me i'll say yes accept the agreement Create a desktop shortcut, your choice, install. There we go, it has finished installing and will launch Eagle now. Now it will again ask me to sign in. So I'll go ahead and sign in. So here we go, Eagle 8.3.1 Premium and it's been registered to my name. So this is what the control panel of Eagle looks like. Here are some tabs which we will go after later. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to File, New, Create an Eagle Project. Let's just name this project as test so I'll right click on test I'll go on new and I'll create a new schematic file so this is what a schematic file in Eagle looks like and the name of this thing is untitled.sch so if you're talking about schematic files in Eagle we are looking with the extension of .sch over here so this is what a blank schematic file looks like. Let me zoom in over here. This is the SCH slash BRD button. I can use this to create a board window. So let's just click on this and it asks me create from schematic. 
so it says the board file does not exist so let's say yes so this is what a board file looks like and in eagle board files have an extension of dot brd so when you're talking about pcb designing with eagle every schematic and board file in eagle is coupled or combined so whatever changes you make in schematic are automatically reflected in your board file so these are the three main windows which you will be dealing with majorly in eagle and if you know and if you want to know exactly what i'm talking about here we go window so r plus zero is a shortcut for control panel which looks like this so this is your control panel and if i click on window again this is the schematic and let's say board you can also do your classic or tab to switch between these three windows if you are comfortable with that so these are the three main windows which we'll be playing around for the next two whole tutorial series so that's it for this tutorial let's continue this in the next one